For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show how you can create a color helper module. What is this all about? Well, when I'm using NeoPixels, I have certain colors that I like to use a lot. I want to reuse these colors, and rather than just copy and paste them from some document into my code, what I've done here is created a separate file. It's a separate module, and you can see it right here. It's just called jpcolors.py. And in this, I have defined a bunch of colors that I like to use. So red, green, blue, you'll notice. You'll also see here I've got this amber color that I really like to use a lot. And it's not one that I typically remember, hey, what exactly is amber? What's a good formula for that? So once you've tuned those and dialed those in once, you can save those variables in a class here. And this class I've created is called color. I've defined a bunch of color values. And then I save this as a separate module file on my CircuitPython device. Then you'll see inside of my code.py, when I want to use that, I'm simply importing it right here from JP Colors, import color. So that imports that class from that module file. Then, whenever I want to use colors, I can just simply call them by name down here. So I'm, I've created this little function called chase that creates these nice little chase effects. And the only input that I have to that is what color chase are we going to do? So if I want to use my amber color, then I say chase color.amber, and the rest is taken care of for me. So I have cyan, magenta, red, black, and white. And so that is a really simple way that you can create some variables that you want to reuse all over the place in a separate file. And that is how you can create a color helper module inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.